This one Etsy listing is earning over $3,000 a month, 120 sales for a four month old listing selling floral ring digital backdrops. And that's including their sale price, which is $31.70 Canadian. Okay, and the product consists of one digital file that's sent to the customer, a text file that's going to have a link for the background pictures for the customer to download. And you can create all of these in MidJourney. If you look at all of these listings that were on the first page for digital ring backdrops, they're all, all most of them are doing very well. This one is only two months old, 140 sales. It's over $600 a month in revenue from one listing. This one is actually literally just one image. There's 20 in the basket. They're selling it $6.90 Canadian for literally just one a digital product that you can create in MidJourney. Okay, here's another one. 72 sales in a month, over $1,000 US. The listing's only four months old. When I first started trying to make the floral ring digital backdrops, I really struggled to get uh, the look that seems to be very popular on Etsy that people were buying, to get something that was hanging at the right height, to get something that seemed a little bit away from the wall to create that depth and shadow. And today I'm going to share one of the prompts that I found that you can play with to create these images here. And I'll show you if you're new to photo editing, how to take your photo into Canva to remove the, the backdrop. Remember when you get the prompt to that, now that you have um, the basic prompt, you can definitely play with the color palette, play with the aspect ratios and the quality add in some descriptive words of your own to see what kind of results that you get and how that modifies uh, your image to create something unique for yourself. I'm just going to upscale two of these for today just to show you how I use them in Canva to make sure that they, they actually work. So I'm just going to upscale a two and four. And then I'll go over to the larger image on the website. I'll just copy that. So you right click and copy. Okay, and then I paste it in Canva. And this is not the mock-up that I would use if I was selling it. And this is not the image that I would then download and save um, to give to the customer. I'm just making sure that it actually works with a model in the image. Oftentimes I'll create an amazing looking picture, but I can't get a model to really fit in there where it looks realistic. And I wouldn't want to, to post uh, something on Etsy that, that in the end isn't actually going to work for somebody. So I click on the photo, I click edit photo, and then you just have to click BG remover. And normally Canva does an amazing job at removing the background. And then I just size the image. I'm trying to make the model uh, fit into the image as best as possible. And then I'll often try more than, than one model just to make sure um, that it wasn't just a fluke that that model fit. I'd like it to be pretty versatile where a photographer could use it for a number of different models. Okay. Canva just makes it so simple to do. You can upload your own photos into Canva. Then we'll take the second one, same image, copy image, paste it over to Canva.
find a model that looks good. And this is also the first step. I'll save these in Canva. Um, and then when I do go to use them uh, as mock-ups, I'll just replace the background image with my upscaled version. So it's a little bit better quality. Again, Canva is just so simple for, for removing the, the backgrounds and so quick. And then it, easy to flip the image around if the shadow in the background is coming from a different direction, make it look more realistic. And there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, short tutorial on making digital floral uh, rings or wreaths that you can use for your own photography or you can sell in Etsy if you're looking to start your own uh, Etsy digital backdrop business. This is uh, definitely um, a great uh, business currently to get into. Uh, like I said, I'll in the description, I'll include the prompt that I used. I will link to products that I also use for upscaling my images um, and helping me to to build out my Etsy shop. So if you like this video and you'd like to see some more prompts that I use for my digital backdrop store, I'd love it if you uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and leave a comment below. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.